Behind me is the Fantoff Stave Church, a Viking-esque style church that originally was built in 1150 and then actually burned to the ground in 1992 by a black metal arsonist. Ultimately, 22 of these stave churches were burned and destroyed because of the anarchists during that time. So these Norwegian stave churches were built in the 12th and 13th centuries, but by the 19th century, they were really, there was just a few dozen of them left. Originally, this church was constructed in Fortun, about 100 miles or so from this area. It fell into disrepair years ago, even way before it burned. It fell into disrepair and uh, it was slated for demolition until a man moved it piece by piece to this area and put it together and of course then it burned in 92 but I believe this is an exact replica of what what the original church was even though it is really only 30 years old it is quite beautiful and you can even go inside and tour it so this is that's what we're gonna do probably the most amazing fact about these stave churches is um, all this structure everything is resting on just a simple stone foundation but even more interesting than that is there's no nails or glue or anything like that everything is dovetailed together fit together and uh, you can see it inside you can see it out here how everything is fit fit together using you know weight and gravity and dovetail connections like an amazing tiny house <laughs> I feel like So you can find these stave churches around Norway. I think there's really only 28 of them left, but they're kind of all over, at least the southern part of Norway. Uh, each one has something different to offer. You know, like I said, this is only 30 years old, being how it was burned down. But the rest, from what I gather, are original from, you know, 1100, 1200, you know, very, very old. They have beautiful original murals and tapestries inside. So I'm gonna to try to see as many as, as I can, but this just happened to be the first one. And it has that, that history of uh, being burned by these so-called black metal arsonists. I don't know why they were targeting these churches, but they, uh, they burned 12 of them, unfortunately. And now these are all outfitted with fire suppression and uh, sprinkler systems, everything. So that hopefully could never and will never happen again. But just a quick video. There's more of these coming as I continue traveling through Norway.